Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today um, with a new tutorial. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to make a, a, a little booklet out of a couple of envelopes and just some ephemera that I have. Uh, and I was inspired by uh, Gail Agnostinelli. I hope I said that right, Gail. There's Leo. <laughs> Leo. Uh, and um, Gail had also mentioned that Lori, girl from On the Hill, had also done, uh, I think, a booklet maybe, or at least a, a trifold, something like that with envelopes. And I know Tracy Fox has done some great things with envelopes too. So I'm just going to show you how I've interpret, done my own interpretation um, inspired by those ladies. So there's a tuck spot here at the top. And then on the back, there's also a tuck spot. Uh, and then I have just folded that over. You've got a little booklet on the inside here. And this is also a tuck spot. And of course, you've got your envelope here. This is the paper that we've sewn in. And then there's a tuck spot here. And a little spot there. So yeah, that's what we're going to make. We're going to try and get this done. Hopefully I can do it in a half hour without boring you all to tears. But that is what we're doing. And I used the marvelous envelopes that I got from uh, Wendy Thompson. Thank you, Wendy. And they're, they're embossed. They're really beautiful. So I'm just going to set that one back there. And let's get started. So you're going to need two envelopes. Uh, and these are more envelopes that I got from Wendy. Same envelope different color and these are a beautiful creamy color um, I have you're going to need to size a piece of uh, what I've done is I've made my um, Tim Holtz paper or cardstock the same size as the inside here uh, and then a little bit shorter you do whatever you want because your envelope is going to be different you may have a pointed envelope you certainly will probably have a smaller one these are seven by five and a half so I've got four of those cut. I got I have four botanicals that have also been cut. Uh, so envelopes, uh, some ink. You're going to need some glue. You're going to need a little bit of sari silk, and we're going to do a fun thing, making this little bit here. This this is kind of fun to do. Um, so let's get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink these envelopes. Just checking to make sure I'm in frame. Okay. So I'm actually just going to go right ahead and ink and I'm going to make sure I hit this edge here as well. And you can see I've got fluff coming off of this. It's all good. I only have to ink that amount on the inside um, because uh, it's going to be attached to the other envelope. And then this one or one of, one of the two is going to actually end up being, gosh, that's not happy, it's going to come off. One of these two is going to end up having the Edith Holden paper on the edge. So, let's do that. For now, actually, let's go right around and ink all the way around just for now. Get this out of the way. So, I hope everyone had a great weekend. It's uh, actually sunny here today, but it's very cold. It's like 9 degrees Celsius, which is not bikini weather, that's for sure. Actually, it hasn't been bikini weather for me for a long time, but we won't go there. So, trying to go fast with this, you guys. Oh, I thought about doing this inking beforehand, and then I thought, no. Now, I did do a few steps ahead of time, and you'll see, see those in a second. So, we've just got that for now. Now, what we want to do is we want one envelope. Um, so, the, the long flat end of one envelope is going to rest. It's going to be glued on to this one, and then this one is going to be the flap. So, what I do is when I glue this on, I make sure that I leave like a little bit, like an eighth of an inch. Like, don't take it right to the crease. So let me see, I'm in frame, okay. So I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac glue. First I'm gonna take this sticky bit off, because we can use that. 
and I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue and I'm going to go cover this except for that last one eighth of, a, uh, of an inch. Get that little bobble off. So we're going to put this down and you can see and the reason I do that is because we're going to have paper in there, right? And we want to have a little bit of room for that paper. So we've got that done. Perfect, perfect, lined up. So the next thing I'm going to do, I already cut my Edith Holden paper, and I know I want it, it was a, about an inch and a half is what I needed wide. So I'm going to glue that up here. I love this Fabri-Tac glue. I gotta tell you, I, I, I should have stock in it by this point. I use it so much. Okay, and it's not cheap. It's not cheap. So I've lined that up. And now I'm just going to cut it from the, the back. Because I have a little bit hanging over. So now I can actually age or ink up this edge. Now that I have that on, I also like to do this. I like to ink here and on the inside. I love how this shows up on this cream envelope. Okay, I didn't do this one because here we're going to put a piece of, of fabric, which we'll do now. So I have a piece of uh, muslin that I'm going to put there and um, it's about an inch and a quarter. It really depends on how big your envelope is. It's about an inch and a quarter wide. So let's just glue that down. And what I'm going to do is put glue here because I'm going to end up sewing this um, as well. Now I put the fabric here um, because anytime because I'm going to sew in my signature with the machine and anytime I sew or, or create a book using like an envelope or that sort of thing or paper I like to um, put a fabric reinforcement on it so I'm just seeing if that's even on that side and it is so love that little bit of staining there alright so we're cooking. So we'll set this aside and we'll take out, we need to ink up our little image, our botanical images, the four of them. I have the other three done uh, just to save time because I didn't think you needed to see me do it four times. Gosh, you guys have seen me do this before anyway. And I'm not I'm not super great at the whole inking side of things, but my gosh, I, I just love how it looks. I think it looks super finished. All right, so this is done and this is done. So what I want to do is I know I want to put this in sort of the center of the page. I just put a very light skiff of glue in the middle and then I position, position that. Now, if you weren't going to sew, this is you would just glue this on completely. <clears throat> but I'm going to sew. So I'm going to just move this camera a little bit, guys, and I hope it doesn't make you dizzy. And we're just going to sew here. How's that for being fancy? <laughs> I already have my machine set for zigzag. So...
I just decided to zigzag that part. Um, and then what I think I'll do is I think I'll just do a straight stitch around the edge. You don't have to do anything there. I just think it finishes it off a bit. Uh, so let's do that. done. So now I'm going to move, oh no, I'm going to wallop up the set this way. Let's sew this fabric. Uh, you don't have to sew it. I just think it looks really super when you do. So I'm just going to put it back on zigzag. And I know that if I have my presser foot lined up with the center, that I'm good to go. And I don't bother to um, Lock the stitch on this one. Whoops. That is getting caught on the bobbin thread. There we go. Yeah, I don't bother to overlock the stitch at this point because um, uh, it's already glued and whatnot as well. So that's one side, and you can see where it, it just made a whole bunch of stitches there, which I think is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Now here, you see how I've got this little lip here? I'm just going to be kind to myself and start my stitching below that. No sense getting all worried one way or the other. So I'm just going to go... All the way down. I'll do a little back stitch there. Okay. So, so that's how it looks on the inside and on the outside. So I think it looks great. Now let me take you back to the to the other board here. Let's go this way. And we're just going to come in a little bit more. Okay, guys, I hope that's not too awkward for you. So, we're moving. So we've got, we've got our piece, and I have already done the same with three other pieces. So we're all set. So now it's a matter of deciding. I know this is going to be my outside flap. And you can decide which of those you want to be on the outside flap. And I kind of like that one because it's the plainest of the ones I have. So now we're going to make the little circle bit. Because we have to do it before things glue, glue in. So what I want to do is I've got a piece of craft paper. And I'm going to cut out three circles of craft paper. We go. And I'm going to glue those three circles together. So that's going to be our little our little tab. So I'm just going to loose like so. Pick that one up with the end of the glue. Glue like so. And then put this one on. So there we go, we've got a nice hard round bit for that. Okay. I also want to just age that up a bit. And we only have to do it on one side, the outside. All right, so we've got that done. Now, I know I need to have a grommet or an eyelet. I always call them grommets. And I'm going to put that in on this side, and I'm going to just put it eyeball the center. You can measure the center if you're worried. Eyeball the center about a centimeter up, 
And then I'm going to put in my pilot. I think I am. There we go. And I'm just going to set it with my crocodile here. There we go. All right. So that's good. Now, with this one, I'm going to use a brad. And I've got some breads that have a nice wide top. I'm going to take my uh, Tim Holtz tool and I'm going to kind of eyeball the center. You could measure it if you want it. I'm just living dangerously. Uh, and then I'm going to stick that in there. There we go. Now, this is this is the part I think is pretty cool. I because I don't want it to be super flat because I want my uh, my uh, sorry soap to go around it. I take a grommet that's been I say cancelled. It's been flattened, uh, and I flattened it in the crocodile. But sometimes you make mistakes and grommets don't set. Save those. You could use them. So I set that there. That's going to create the space that I need. So then I'm going to put. I know this is the right side up. I'm going to put a hole about just in, just like a quarter of an inch at most. And I'm eyeballing the center of this as well. You could measure it. Uh, and then this is going to go right in that hole. I have to get closer to it, guys, because of, you know, my eyes. And then I'm just going to open that up. You know, it's funny, this whole folder, this is the part that excites me the most. That little idea of putting in the, uh, the cancelled um, grommet. Okay, look at that. Sweet. Alright, so what we need to do next is we're going to glue this on. We're going to glue them all on. So let's give that a whirl. I'm going to, I know I want it to have a pocket at the top. So I hold the side I don't want to put glue on. And I just put my glue around the edges. And I'm going to put this, and I'm going to look at where that eyelet is, and I'm going to center this. Uh, and I'm also going to, I want to see some of that stitch that I did on the back. So, and it's okay, part of your image is getting covered, and that's, like for me, that's, I feel good about that, that's okay. And you still have room over here, so. I think that looks great, right? Now I'm going to open it up and um, decide which image. Let's put this pretty one with the yellow on here. And the reason I opened it up is I want to line these up with each other. I mean, you don't have to, but we've gone to all this effort. You might as well give it a try and look at make it look professional. So I want to line it up. That's the cat jumping at the door or the window because he sees a grackle. He doesn't like that grackles very much. Can you see that guy? Oh gosh. I hope I've been in frame. My goodness. Right. So that's lined up. Perfect. So now we'll open it this way and we'll put these on. So in these case, in this case, I have cut the um, Tim Holtz paper to just so that I just really fit um, on that edge. So you don't want to go over that edge. Uh, so we'll put the first one on. And I'm just kind of centering that. And then we'll do the second one. Making sure I put my finger where I don't want my glue. That side I don't want my glue. Try and do little tricks like that for my... So I have less to have to think about. <laughs> Alright. So once again, we're going to line it up with that edge. And line it up with the one on this side and the golden. 
golden. Now this one you can't press down flat because you've got this bit on the other side. Okay. Cooking with gas. Really nice. Now, you could stop there. You don't have to put uh, paper in, but I'm going to put paper in. And I've just got, I cut the four pieces of paper to uh, fit. Uh, and I'm going to uh, sew these. Now I'm going to have to move you again. I apologize for that, guys. Uh, back to the machine. Here we are. And put it on a straight stitch. And I'm going to put it up like on a five. And then you want to make sure that you're right in that ditch, right? Like right in where it's going to fold. And then I stick it underneath. Where do I want it? Up a little tiny bit. Line up my needle, and I'm not going to do any back stitching. You can if you want, but you really don't need it. That's going to be in there really good. And let me just take us back. Apologize for all this moving. And I apologize for the lighting too. It's not great, is it? So now we have our little booklet. It's got paper, got tuck spots, it's embellished. Let's oh wait, I haven't done. I need to put some aging on that side too. All right, now I've got a piece of uh, sari silk, and what I'm going to do, there we go, just going to fold it in half and put it through this grommet. aggressive. Um, and so I go up from the bottom like so and over. Now you don't need to use the other one um, to go around it. It's thick enough so I just do that. And then I'm going to cut these to a length. Cute or what? Okay so we've got a tuck spot here. We've got a tuck spot here. We've got our, our envelope there, tuck spot. We've got our little booklet. We've got a tuck spot here. And we have a tuck spot there. And that's it. Now I would, you know, I'll probably uh, put, um, I'll put some uh, tags in it. Uh, and I think she's really cute. Oops. Trying to move too quickly. Uh, and there they are. Two little envelope booklets that I've made. And uh, really easy, guys. Give it a whirl. Uh, I think they're a lot of fun. Really a lot of fun. All right, guys. I hope you're having a super day. And give it a whirl. Show me some pics if you do. I'd love to see them. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye.